A very good afternoon to you, Nzinga, and to our viewers at home. We're coming to you live from the Tswani University of Technology's main campus, uh, this being in Pretoria West. This is where uh, academics, members of the academic space, uh, those from government and business have gathered this afternoon just to uh, launch the artificial intelligence hub of the university. They're working with uh, the University of Johannesburg and the Department of Digital Technologies and Communications in ensuring that there's a move in the realization of that fourth industrial revolution. This hub is one of the many hubs that will be introduced into the country as the time goes by, as government moves to just ensure that South Africa is not left behind where that in artificial in intelligence and of course the fourth industrial revolution is concerned. Um, Minister Montlegu Gubele, uh, fresh uh, in his uh, deployment of uh, this portfolio of communications, uh, we saw him today just taken to the podium uh, to just give us a keynote address in terms of why it is important uh, that we push the fourth industrial revolution and the country is not uh, left behind. Uh, just taken to the podium there, uh, Nzinga, earlier on, uh, to give a keynote address around the fact that universities, institutions of higher learning, they should be positioned to come through as solution makers and they need uh, to work, of course, with uh, those in the spaces of government, uh, those in labor and business, uh, to ensure as well uh, that the country, South Africa, is not left behind where this fourth industrial revolution is concerned. They are, of course, going to also be having uh, various panel discussions uh, this afternoon uh, to just speak about the importance of finding ourselves here and how this uh, launch of the artificial intelligence will move uh, through various departments, Apex Department, uh, Health, uh, they're talking about education, uh, they're also talking about the finance, and they're just saying this uh, will also just come through to help uh, the government as well in the work uh, that they've been doing to ensure that there's fourth industrial revolution. I'm just going to ask uh, the professor uh, from the Tswani University of Technology to just come through and to join us. We're hoping that Minister Gungubele uh, would join us, but it seems that uh, he's actually uh, more or less are preoccupied as we speak right now. But uh, Professor Tinyoko Maluleke is coming through as uh, the Vice Chancellor uh, for the Swani University of Technology. Uh, so we're seeing that it's an exciting one. Uh, this described as a momentous occasion, of course, uh, for the institution. Uh, we're seeing that government as well is just uh, rallying behind this issue of digital transformation. Welcome to the SABC. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to talk about what, in my view, is arguably the most important initiative this country has uh, embarked on since democracy. This is an initiative in terms of which um, the country is saying we want to create a digital future. We don't want it to happen to us. We want to take charge of our digital future. We don't want to become consumers of other people's digital futures or even to become data for other digital futures elsewhere in the world. So I think that the establishment of the Artificial Intelligence Institute of South Africa is a very, very important step in the country. Of course, also we're seeing that this has been positioned to come through uh, for the economy of the country. And we're also talking about the future reimagined uh, where job creation is concerned through uh, this process here. Just let us in on how this is going to uh, come through and help address some of those uh, questions and issues around the economy that has not been doing well and the jobs that really have not been coming through for the people of South Africa. I like, I like the fact that your question assumes that artificial intelligence creates jobs because the, the, the normal and conventional assumption is that the machines are coming to take our jobs. Your assumption is for me a very important one and very refreshing one because artificial intelligence will create a lot more jobs than we can imagine. But these are not jobs for unskilled people. That's why it's important to, for the government to link this project to universities and other institutions of higher learning so that we train as many young people, we make them as excited as possible and equip them because once they are equipped with um, artificial intelligence skills, they are going to go into agriculture, they are going to go into the health sector, they are going to innovate, they are going to invent jobs of which we don't even know yet. 
Uh, sir, thank you very much for coming through. That is, of course, uh, the Vice Chancellor of the Tuani University of Technology. We're going to be bringing into the conversation now the Minister of Digital Technology and Communications, Minister Gungubeli, was held up a bit uh, there, but then uh, he did best by coming through. Minister, uh, thank you very much for joining us. It is an exciting moment. Uh, we are seeing that University of Johannesburg University, the Tuani University of Technology, they are working with the department to launch uh, this AI hub. Welcome to the SABC. How important is it that government forms part of this regime? Good day to your viewership. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, this is the beginning of a bigger program. There is going to be a number of these hubs in this country. This is the start, UJ and uh, TUT. The most critical thing about it, uh, this is a moment in particular for young people because this, this invention or this uh, intervention is about improving the capacity of the people in an easier and more smarter way to actually sustain their living because it's going to give them skills and capabilities to actually get exposed to a lot of data, a data that is going to give them new ideas, going to give them creativity. They are, all, they are going to be able to establish their own business, whether they become service providers or they start their business, manufacturing ideas, and all these artificial intelligence hubs are going to be, each is going to be focused on particular sectors, like this one here, is on automation, is health, the one in uh, UJ, I think it's about mining and manufacturing, and to, to actually use catalytic projects in those particular, what you call, sectors, to assist through those projects, opening up new ideas, and how to make sure that we, we become, a, a, as an individual, competitive, you also contribute to the competitiveness of your country. And we're also excited that they are in universities, centers of learning, so that our centers of learning are service-oriented. Because one of the biggest challenges we have, we've been attacked in South Africa for producing uh, qualifications which do not actually match existing what to call required jobs. For these hubs being centered or around these centers of learning, it's an opportunity for them to reconscientize themselves on daily basis to work in a manner that is informed by the day-to-day -day needs of the country. Minister, thank you very much for your time. Uh, Minister Mondi Gungubele coming through there uh, to just give us a sense of what is happening uh, here today. It's really a hive of activity when you think about uh, the fact that uh, these are the uh, first two universities uh, that will be rolling out this process of artificial intelligence about the hope and the aspiration of uh, the Department of Communications and Digital Technologies is to ensure and see uh, some of other universities within South Africa roll out this artificial intelligence, create hubs, link with certain industries to ensure that the economy is moving because really what they are looking at here is to ensure that at least South Africa is not left behind where the fourth industrial revolution is concerned and that uh, digital transformation. Zinga?